Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea and today we're going to be doing a lesson about the golden rule. The golden rule means that you treat other people the way that you would want to be treated. And a good way to illustrate that is our story today, which is called Do Unto Otters, a book about manners. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. We're your new neighbors, the otters. Otters? Otters? My new neighbors are otters? I don't know anything about otters. What if we don't get along? Pesky otters. Lousy rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, I know an old saying. Do unto otters as you would have otters do unto you. What does that mean? It simply means treat otters the same way you'd like otters to treat you. Treat otters the same way I'd like otters to treat me? Hmm. How would I like otters to treat me? How would I like otters to treat me? Well, I'd like otters to be friendly. A cheerful hello. Howdy, neighbor. A nice smile and good eye contact are all part of being friendly. Friendliness is very important to me, especially after my last neighbor, Mrs. Grrr. Voted meanest neighbor six years in a row. I'd like otters to be polite. They should know when to say please. Please look. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rabbit, would you please return my ball there, pretty please, with carrots on top? Would you like me to stop stinging you? That's what the bee says. Yes, please. Hee-hee-hee, <laughs> carrots. Can I say please in five languages? Por favor, in Spanish. S'il vous plaît, in French. Bitte, in German. Kudase, Japanese. Isple, Pig Latin. I don't know if I pronounced all those right. Impressive. Say the magic word and I'll turn these clams into a million dollars. Magic word rhymes with this. Cheese. They should know when to say thank you. Thanks for looking. This letter says, Dear Mr. Rabbit, thank you very much for returning my ball. You must have returned a lot of balls before because you made it look so easy. Balls sure are bouncy and rolly, and I'll try to keep it under control next time. Sincerely, the otter. Nice beak. Thanks. Would you like me to sting you now, says the bee? Then please take my beesiness card and call me when you're ready. The otter had said, no, thank you. I can say thank you in five different languages. Gracias in Spanish, merci in French, dankeschön in German, arigato in Japanese, and enkse uye in pig Latin. Superb, says the frog. Did you say please or cheese, says that otter. And they should know when to say, excuse me. Excuse me, burp. Excuse me, oh, Miss Otter. Excuse me, Mr. B, I need to run and check on something. I can say, excuse me, in five different languages. Dispenseme in Spanish, pardonnez-moi in French. Uh, Ansuldigensi. In German, sumamasen in Japanese, and excuse ma in Peg Latin. While pu is the same in any language, again, I don't think I pronounced all those right. Hmm, it worked in rehearsal, said that otter. Excuse me for interrupting your reading, but I heard you say please, not teeth. Otters should be honest. That means they should keep their promises. My word is as good as gold, fish. Not lie, 
I never lie. It makes my whiskers itch. Not cheat. Cheating makes my whiskers itch too. I wonder if I should see a doctor. I'd like otters to be considerate. You know, being a good listener. Asking before borrowing something. May I? Not littering. Being patient. Caring for all creatures big and small. Opening the door for someone. Being on time. Respecting the elderly. Good afternoon, Mrs. Duck. Hello, dearie. Helping neighbor untangle ears. It's always good to have a considerate neighbor. It wouldn't hurt otters to be kind. Everyone appreciates a kind act no matter how bad it smells. Oh, and what's that word? Cooperate. Otters should learn to cooperate. Did someone say operate? That's what that Dr. Duck says. Cooperate to work together. We know how to cooperate, say the otters. I see otters like to play. I hope they know how to play fair. Come on, you two. Otters rules for fair play. Be a good sport. Play by the rules. Take turns. Include everyone. Yes, even bees. I'd like it if we could share things. Our favorite books, Harry Otter and Goldilocks and the Three Hares. Our favorite activities, Otter Totter. Go fish. Okay. Our favorite treats. Hmm. Maybe not the treats. I hope otters won't tease me about my doody doo -de song, my extra large swim fins, my bad hair days. I hope otters won't tease anyone about anything. Teasing is mean. It's the worst. It's worse than having a clam snap shut on your nose. I think otters should apologize when they do something wrong. I'm sorry I used your ear as a tissue. Ooh. And I hope they can be forgiving when I do something wrong. I'm sorry I called you snotter. Oh, you. So there, that's how I'd like otters to treat me. You see, Mr. Rabbit, I told you it was simple. Right, just do de do unto otters as you would have otters do de do unto you. The end. And so I have a few questions for you about that story that you can talk about with your family. And maybe you want to pause this video after each question so that you can talk to your family about it, okay? Why are manners necessary? Why are they needed? Why should we use manners? Which manners are most important, do you think? What would you do in a situation where someone was rude and didn't want to use manners. If they weren't using manners at all, what do you think you would do? Well, since our story today was about otters, I figured that we would do a meditation that has to do with water. So we're gonna start with a breathing exercise and then we'll go into our meditation, but Right now, I'd like for you to find a place that's comfortable, whether that's laying down or if you're sitting, then make sure that you're seated so that you can sit there for a little bit while we walk through the meditation and get real comfortable and um, close your eyes or rest at least so that you can concentrate. I'm going to ring our bell and then when the bell comes to and end when the sound stops, then I'll start the meditation. Ready? Here we go.
Let your whole body relax from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Take a deep breath in, inhale through your nose and into your stomach and breathe out through your mouth. Again, breathe in through your nose, into your stomach and out through your mouth. Now take a deep breath in while counting to four in your mind. We're going to inhale counting one, two, three, four. Ready? And breathe out to count to four again. Exhale while counting one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's try that again in through your nose, into your stomach. Breathe in through your nose, into your stomach. Breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four out two three four one more time in two three four and out two three four continue breathing and whatever feels natural for you while I walk you through this water meditation imagine you're laying in bed on your back the bed feels so good and you're very comfortable and relaxed. Suddenly the bed begins to change into a magical water spring. You lie on a large healing crystal in the water. The crystal has a beautiful color that is reflected in the water. The water feels so good it has just the right temperature. Maybe you're imagining that you're floating on your back, just like how an otter would. The water flows around you and the soft sunlight is reflected from sparkling little waves in the magical water. This water spring has healing powers it can make you feel so healthy and good. You're happy to receive the healing powers of the crystal and the water, and you just let them flow through you. When you're done, you thank the crystal and the water, and they slowly begin to disappear until you find yourself back in your bed you know that the healing powers will stay with you and you feel very relaxed. That's the end of our time together today. Please remember to treat other people the way that you would want to be treated. Thank you for joining me. Bye.